Today is Friday. I'm not sure where this actually inserts into my next vlog, but I wanted to film it. Look at my decor. Like, you buy the nice things, but why is my decor just throwing around like a basketball? Get a boyfriend, they said. It would be fun, they said. So I'm not sure where this actually fits in this next vlog, but I have done a massive haul on Shein and I'm so excited that Shein comes to Canada because not a lot of things come to Canada. And I started opening the box and I thought, oh, why am I not recording this, you know, because everything is content. So I'm going to open it all up with you guys. I started then I stopped. See? See how thinky you are? I think you are. First thing I got was this nice cute little black canvas tote bag and it's got some pockets at the front a water bottle pocket at the side and it's got a lot of like internal pockets and stuff um the reason why i got this pretty simple just like a basic tote bag is because i don't have a nice cute tote bag and i quite like walking around with tote bags i met a few friends who actually work from home here also and we all live close by so once a week we like to go and work in a cafe so that tote bag is to put my laptop in and, um, you know, like my book, my water, a snack so that I can go and work and it's cute. I can also use it to run errands. I love a good tote bag. Like tote bags are just like super simple, super lightweight. Love them. I also got this faux leather brown and grey because it's dual sided. Um work top mat so this is to go on my desk and now that i'm looking at the color i'm like oh this is super brown thing is i haven't actually got any sort of decor going on in my office i don't even know how i want to style it but i do kind of want to keep it neutral ish we're going to start with this i guess <laughs> so this is the basis of um a work top mat if you don't know these things are great just to put on your desk um the mouse works on it you put your laptop on top and it's just a little bit of an accessory, you know, to um, style your your office space. I've got a lot of shoes because I'm struggling with, like, how to style my outfits here in Canada. Like, the only thing I bought with me, because obviously I only had two suitcases, I bought a lot of my trainers. So I needed some boots, some just, like, boots that you can wear on a casual basis, you know, on an everyday basis or a dressing up basis. I just wanted some real good boots. These I saw from my girl Stephanie, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, Stephanie Made Medeco. She's a YouTuber. She is brilliant. She is, she loves like minimal classy styles and she bought this boot from Shein and she wears it all the time. However, she got the pointed version and I got a square toe version because I find that pointed version makes my feet look a lot longer. I've got big feet anyways, I don't, I don't need that stress. You know, she wears it with jeans, she wears it with like long skirts. A boot like this is just like an everyday boot that you can style with like trousers, jeans, and it looks classy, they're comfortable, so happy I got these. Ooh, now these, I'm hoping that these fit because I plan to style these like in the spring. What I loved about these is that it had a platform. I had a pair of boots like these um, back at home. I had them for so many years because they were so comfortable. And the reason why they were so comfortable is because they had a platform underneath. So it just made it, I had it for years, but then the heels started breaking. I got it repaired once and then it broke again. So I just had to say goodbye to those boots and they were a black suede pair. So let's see, I hope that these fit and that they're as comfortable as I, I hope. These feel so good. Next, I got, oh, I got these boots. So these are like, I guess like Doc Martin dupes, um, just sort of like combat boots. These are like everyday type of boots. So I think that's just like cute. Um, I don't know why I got brown. I think it's just because like brown is really in season right now. So I thought, let me do a brown boot. If they're comfortable, I might even get a black one because you see, you know, people wear black Doc Martens all the time. Wow. I don't think that's gonna work. If they were in black, like how cute is that? Like just a cute everyday combat type boot. Got no socks on at the moment. 
and my toe is just at the top like the toe is like they're just a tad bit small if I had a half size up my toe would be a lot more comfortable it's just a big toe another thing that I love to get on Shein is like little accessory things you know um, my shower caddy how you stick your shower caddy to the wall you get these like transparent hook things I've had it on since you know I've got it but the hook actually snapped off on a few of them so I needed just the replacement of the sticker like not the shower caddy but just a sticker and she even had these for like two dollars so I got a pack of these I also got a pack of sticky hooks and these are the type of hooks that are um, you know like they move the reason why I wanted these is to put for um, my bath pillow in the shower so right now my bath pillow it came with some like suction hooks but the suction hooks always like snap off every time I lay on the bath pillow so I'm gonna stick these on my tile and that will stay up and then I can hook my bath pillow onto these and they move back and forth so as you're sitting on it and you know moving side to side or if you're in the bath it won't fall off I also got these sets which I am hoping will fit really nicely because I need some loungewear in the house I work from home and I don't have any like loose loungewear I have a lot of leggings and like tight clothes but I want just like loose clothes I can just throw on the first thing I saw was this trousers set it's it's almost like a you know like my blanket here like this is a very soft furry type material this is kind of what it's giving like a very soft furry type blanket material so I got these they're wide leg trousers if you see the leg really wide leg um i got the size large which is normally fine for me and she in there's a lot of stretch here so i think that would be all right they've got pockets and it was a set so it came with this top this cute little off the shoulder top so i'd wear it like this which i can't say would be too comfortable but it might be this top also gathers at the side like that it's long sleeve it might be quite cute but yeah, this is what I plan to wear. Probably the wrong season to get this in because winter is pretty much done with, you know. But my apartment isn't too overheated right now, so I might be alright. I've bought a lot of loungewear from Shein over the years. A lot of loungewear. And it definitely is great for the price. Like, you can get a set for like $20, $16. And I had them for years so much that they you pretty much wore out so i do recommend she in loungewear so guys it is moments later <laughs> i want to say like a couple hours later and i've just been given a huge surprise my boyfriend told me that i'm going to the asake concert tonight here in toronto so i had to rush and get ready i'm going to go with my friend riley i'll probably vlog on my phone I'm not going to bring my camera out just because I'm bringing my little silver tail feezy bag. And, um, just to show you what I'm wearing, I'm probably going to be cold. It is six degrees outside, but I'm definitely getting an Uber home, so I'm not even worried about that. I'm wearing this just basic white top, and you can't see my trousers, but I'm wearing these jogger-style trousers. Oh, I should probably iron these down. Uh, these are from Meneer Devoir, which have become my new obsession love this store so they're wide leg type of trouser very cozy um but still chic because they're like flared leg and they're quite oversized so i'm gonna wear that with my leather jacket and my silver tail feezy bag it's my first concert here in toronto so i'm quite excited um yeah it should be fun quick little concert here we go but i did want to show you i know i showed you a shein haul but i actually did a bit of a sephora haul i'm so excited i've got some new products that i have not got before um one of those being the huda beauty setting powder for the under eyes i've never used this before but everyone seems to be using this one in the shade canufa i did use it today on my under eyes and i quite enjoyed it um yeah, I definitely keep using this because I've been using some stale translucent baking powder from a long time ago. I don't know where it's from, but I needed to update my makeup game. I need to actually learn how to do my makeup all over again. But that starts with getting new products, getting up to date products, getting what the girlies are using in 2024. I also got uh, my Fenty. I always use this. I had to restock on it. 
This is the Fenty setting powder in the shade Nutmeg. I use this all over my face, so I just read up on that. Love that. I also got this brand, LYS. Um, I believe they're black owned, but if they're not, I definitely know that they're clean products. So it's got like clean ingredients and it's, you know, good for your skin, that kind of stuff. I got this cream blush and for the longest, I've been looking for like an orange blush. I don't know why, because I have a red rosy blush, but I feel like it just doesn't warm up my face. It just makes me look plummy, which I like, but sometimes you just want a warm face. So I've always wanted an orange blush and I could not find it. However, my girl Coco Swatches on Instagram never fails. She lets all the dark skinned girls know exactly what will go with your skin tone. And she tried this on in this shade, which is epic and it's orange. And it looked bomb on her she was like get it i put it on today and yeah it's just giving me that little warmth that i wanted i hope it looks good i've just kind of thrown it on <laughs> again i need to learn how to use my makeup again but i really like this and it's a cream blush she also mentioned this lip liner which is from makeup forever and it's in the color dimensional dark brown because as a darker skinned girl all the browns that you see most of the girls wear are not necessarily dark enough for a lip liner but this one this one is a dark brown so i got that this was not cheap this little pencil was not cheap i think it was like 30 dollars it was not cheap but when i saw coco swatches put this on and i saw the depth in the deep dark brown line i said yeah it's an investment i'm willing to make then I got the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade, I took the package off so I don't remember what shade I got but maybe I'll link it below and I'll put the details below but this is, seems to be what all the girlies are wearing as well so I plan to mix the two and hopefully it works um, because I like a nice little nude lip on the inside and then brown on the outside. Then I got, so a long time ago, in fact when I went to Atlanta I got a sample of these nest perfumes and i really liked it so i got the small bottle and that lasts me a long time you know like the travel size but now it's done and i'm so upset so i decided to invest in the full size uh, this is nest new york perfume and it's in the fragrance golden nectar this smells black money oh my god Oh my god. I'm not a fan of like sweet, sweet, sweet fragrances and I'm not a musty, musty fragrance either. But this is somewhere in between. Mm. This is the person I want to be. Her. Her. She smells like money. She smells like she's got her ish together. She smells like she's successful. She smells delightful. She smells delicious. She smells edible. She is who I want to be. I can't. This one. You go and smell it yourself. I promise you, you want to be here too. <laughs> Look at that. Oh! Coco swatches. She knew what we needed. She knew. Honestly, I've been looking for a dark liner for so long that I started using black eyeliner. That's how deep it got. I think I overlined a little bit, but that was an accident. Let me put this on. Hopefully this is the right shade because I never actually tried this on in store. I just picked it up. But okay, it's a little pinky. Wow, I'd like it to be a bit more um, beige, but that's not. It's not too bad. That's not the worst. We can just we'll fix it. I will see you guys at the concert. Yeah, we're gonna have dinner and then we're going to the concert. But that's my time. I, I've got to get out of here. I'll fix this on the way. See ya. Are you ready?
really good. I had a lot of fun. Um, it was very impromptu, just sort of went with the flow. Didn't know it was going to go, but we ended up going and it was good. Um, first of all, you guys saw that I went to um, a Japanese barbecue, like the Korean barbecue thingies, but it was Japanese barbecue. And the food was so good. The Japanese barbecue was so good. Like, I've never done that before. That was my first, first experience doing it. And it's actually quite fun, like cooking your own foods. We seasoned it a little bit, but otherwise it was delicious. Like it was very tasty. Um, we had options after options. I don't even know what I was eating. I was eating lamb, beef, pork, all of it. But it was good, really good. Then we went to the concert finally, and the concert was really fun. It was packed. As you saw, everyone came out to see a sake and it was just crazy. So much support he had here in Toronto and it was good to see, you know, all of us in one room. Like it was just, it was great. Yeah, it wasn't even a late one. It finished at like 11, 11.30, 11.20, 11.30. And I was home by midnight. Today, we are on a mission. The boy wants to record some um content for social media so that's pretty much what we're going to do today we're just gonna roam around the city go to some really nice vintage stores get some content i'm not wearing anything special i feel like you guys never see me get dressed up on here like i'm so sorry i will dress up but now that the sun is coming out there's a lot more events happening so we'll be outside this spring this summer no worries and yeah i'll be able to get cute again but for now, today is just a pretty chilled one. Um, we're going to explore a lot of the west side, which is like Kensington Market. Uh, we love that area. Get some good food. Toronto is known for its good food. So we'll definitely be indulging. And I'm going to take you guys with. So let's go. So it's the beginning of a new vlog and this has just been a bit of an eventful few weeks for me here in Toronto and I'm so excited. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm meeting up with a friend and we're going to a sip and paint class. If you know me, if you follow me on my socials, you'll know that I actually used to do this. Like I had a business in sip and paint in London. And it's something that I really want to bring here to Toronto. So I'm not only doing a bit of research, but I'm having a bit of fun seeing how other people do it to see, you know, what it is that I can possibly bring here to Toronto. So we're in the venue. Um, I'm waiting for my friend Marissa. She should be here soon. I will show you guys her. And we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. Do you like my hair? I did a little something different. You know, I've done curls before, so this is nothing new. But... I did not have any time to record me getting ready, nor did I have any time to record me in the Uber because I was still getting ready in the Uber, but <laughs> we here. And yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So I don't know if I'm the first one here, but we're waiting to go inside and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, 
Be safe. Kind of happy with it, but it'll have to do now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the rest as well. Yeah. So cute. We're gonna take a picture together. Let's get home.